This is another video on how to do a linear programming problem. Here we've got a question from the D1 paper from Edexcel, 2011 January. What we've got is a graph showing various constraints on it. We're told that the graph is being used to solve a linear programming problem, and two of the constraints have been drawn with the rejected regions shaded out. Write down the constraints shown on the graph. So what we've got to do, of course, is find the equations of these two lines, and then state whether we want the stuff above or below each of them. So I'm going to work with this one first of all. If we look at what's going on there, we can find the equation of this line quite easily using the y equals mx plus c version or format. So here, if I take this point and this point as my two endpoints to find my gradient, so the gradient is equal to the change in y over the change in x, this is equal to, uh, well, 20 over 80, which is a quarter. Goes through the y-axis at zero, so this would be the line y equals a quarter x plus zero. Of course, what we want is the stuff above this line, so our actual constraint is going to be y is greater than or equal to a quarter x. You may want to write this as 4y is greater than or equal to x, simply multiplying by the 4, but either of these two formats would be acceptable for the equation of that constraint. For the second one, this line, we're going to follow exactly the same process. So the gradient is going to be, let's choose two points, well, that's going through sort of 55 something, let's choose that one there and that one there. So the change in y is going to be from 30 to 15 and the change in x is going to be from 30 to 0. So this is 15 over 30, or a half. So here, y equals m x plus c. c is where it's crossing the y-axis, which is 15. And that would be the equation of the line. And of course, what we want is stuff to be below that. So we're going to have y is less than or equal to a half x plus 15. Now again, you may want to multiply this through by 2, uh, giving us what's that? that equation. So again, either of these two would be fine. Notice that I'm including the equals in both of them, because this is a solid line. If it was a dotted line, it would mean that we couldn't have things actually on the line. So then we would just have y is less than or y is greater than in each of these two parts. But finding those two constraints, relatively straightforward. For the next part of the question, we're given two more constraints and we're asked to add lines and shading to the uh, graph in the answer book to represent the constraints and determine the feasible region and label it R. Well, I'm going to do it on here rather than printing out a second page, but this is exactly the graph that you were given in the answer book. So I'm going to take them one at a time, starting with this equation, x plus y is greater than or equal to 30. And of course, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to work out the coordinates of some endpoints. So I'm going to say if x equals 0, this would give me y equaling 30, just simply working it out from there. And if y equals 0, x equals 30. So I've got the endpoints of those, and I can draw them very easily on my graph, going from, um, what do we got? x equals 0, y is 30, so there's one point and y equals 0, x equals 30. So there's the other endpoint, and simply drawing that constraint line there. We want x plus y to be greater than or equal to 30. Now, depending on how you think about this, some people find it easy to work out what that is, and some people don't. What I would do is rearrange this In that format, y is greater than or equal to minus x plus 30, of course, just moving the x to the other side. And now we want y is greater than, which means above the line. So I don't want any of this part here. So that's the part I'm going to cross out. For this second constraint, 5x plus y is less than or equal to 400. We're going to find the coordinates of some endpoints. So if x equals 0... This gives me y equals 50, and if y equals 0, x would have to equal 80. So I've got those endpoints as well. Drawing those, x0, y50, 
and Y0X80. There is that constraint line. Once again, we've got to work out where it's going. So rearranging this equation, 8Y is less than or equal to minus 5X uh, plus 400. And of course, we can divide by 8. Um, what's that? 50. So we know Y is less than or equal to. So we want, of course, the part of the graph that is below it. So we're going to get rid of all of this section. So we've put our constraints on the uh, graph. Don't forget for the whole question, hence determine the feasible region and label it R. Well, the only part that is not shaded is this section here. So that is our feasible region R. And for the last part of the question, we're told that the objective is to minimize 15x plus 10y. We've got to draw the profit line on graph one and use it to find the optimal solution, labeling the profit line clearly. So what I would do is work with this expression. We've got 15x plus 10y. And you might think about this as being profit or something like that. Why you'd want to minimize profit, I don't know. But anyway, working with this, what we're going to look for is some value for p uh, that we can divide by 15 and 10. The nicest value there it would be probably uh, 150, something like that. Uh, so 150 is going to be the value for p. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work out some values of x and y that would satisfy this equation if it equaled 150. So some easy values would be something like if I had x being 0, y would be 15. Um, or I could have uh, y equaling 0 and x would equal 10. What I can then do is plot these as endpoints of a line where p equals 150. So if I do that now on our graph, we can see x is 0, y is 15, x is 10, y is 0. That, let's draw it as a dotted line, that line there is effectively our optimal line, our profit line. So I'm going to label that as being the profit line. Notice, of course, it does say you must label your profit line clearly. So make sure you do that. So we're trying to minimize that, which means that we're going to move this graph, keeping the uh, gradient the same. And we're going to identify the first point that we come to of this feasible region. This is the first point that we come to. If we were trying to maximize it, we would keep going until we found our very last position, which would be this one. But minimizing, we're going to find the first one, which is that one there. So this is the optimal solution. And the optimal solution here corresponds very nicely to uh, having integer values. Optimal solution equals, um, uh, what is it, x is 10 and y is 20. Nice and straightforward. Notice that in this question it doesn't say find the uh, optimal value of the profit. Sometimes they will, and in which case you would just take these two values and substitute them into your um, expression. So 15 times 10 plus 10 times 20, which is 150 plus 200 is 350. This question doesn't ask you, but quite often they will. But that, very simply, is how to answer that linear programming problem.